right, today I just have a pot roast right there. I'm putting it on my sheet pan. And this smells super delicious. I have some yellow onion, and I'm just gonna put the yellow onion on the far side of this steak. Oh, this is smelling so delicious. I'm gonna spread the onion across the whole entire sheet pan. That way we can instantly go into some freshly sliced peppers. I just found these peppers, the peppers, onions already slivered. They slice it for you at the grocery store. So if you don't like cutting onions, if you don't like crying, cause you know, I don't like crying only at night, uh, then you just go there and pick it up. So I'm gonna put the bell peppers right on top of that onions mixture. That way it just seeps in and you want the, the juices from the steak to go on. Now I'm coming in with some shrimp. If you, if, if you don't know what I'm making now, you should know. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you think I'm making. But look at that, I'm gonna allocate the shrimp all to one area. Now I'm coming in with some butter. I love using the land of lakes, but uh, as you can tell, I sliced these into these little slivers and we're gonna place that right on top of that shrimp. You want the butter to completely melt right on top of that shrimp. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna go super fast for you, but you guys take your time. All right, so I used about a stick and a half of butter and this butter going right on top of that steak. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Like, you could, look at how prominent that seasoning is on top of that beef. Oh my gosh. And now I'm coming in with some garlic. I love using the Spice World garlic. This is the good stuff. And I'm gonna come in just with a spoon and I'm just gonna place this right around. You do, you want a decent amount of garlic all over the shrimp. But more importantly, you want it to be seeped in with the butter. So I'm gonna place it pretty much right there on top of the butter. But uh, this is such a fast, easy recipe to feed your whole entire family. Shoot, you could even do this for a party. Oh yeah, and you know I love my garlic. So garlic everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I'm coming in with some lemons. These are freshly sliced lemons. Look at how juicy these lemons are. Oh, they're flopping around. And I'm gonna place the lemons right on top of the shrimp and the butter. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. I use two lemons here. So make sure you slice two lemons. Be careful when you're slicing, like it's very easy to cut yourself. So always be weary when you're using knives. And I'm gonna place this right I'm gonna use the whole, I wanna use the whole entire two lemons. So I'm just gonna space this out so that that lemon juice just seeps right into. And last but not least, right before we throw in the oven, chopped parsley. Yep, we all love chopped parsley. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, put it right on top of that lemon and it'll seep into that lemon flavor, which then will seep into that butter and the garlic and right on top of the shrimp. Oh my goodness, this is looking phenomenal, wow. And there you have it. Wow, all in one. I am super excited for this. I have a little surprise at the end. My oven's set to 350. I'm gonna cook it in there for about 50 minutes. Oh my goodness. This is literally perfectly cooked. You can see all that butter, that luscious meat. That meat looks amazing. Speaking of which, oh, let's get right in. I let it rest for about five minutes. Look at that. And I'm putting it right here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Are you ready for this? Yeah. So I'm just gonna give this a nice slice. Oh yeah, that is literally perfect. You see that, babe? Yeah, it looks delicious. It's amazing, right? looks so perfect. Now I'm gonna grab these slices of meat. One right here, one right here. Look at that, oh my goodness. You know what, I like the fatty pieces. That's where all of the flavor is. And now I'm gonna come back over here, grab some shrimp. Woohoo, and there you have it, a little surf and turf. Look at that garlic butter and that lemon you know is just seeping right into that. Look at that. Grab some bell peppers, some onions. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful, babe? Amazing. Wow. And I feel like that we're missing one thing, right? We're kind of missing uh, starch. What do you think? Garlic bread. Gar no, babe. Oh, 
Hey, a starch, not a carb. Oh. Parmesan potatoes. And check these out. These, these are just microwave. They're ready literally in six minutes. And you put the packet in and shake it. We'll put some these amazing Parmesan potatoes. Oh my gosh. There you have it. An all-in-one dinner. And I have to give this a try. All right. First things first, the potatoes. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Shrimp. Oh my gosh, nice little acidity with the lemon. Wow, and the garlic, that's actually really good, baby. You're really gonna like that. Let's see how the onions came out with the bell pepper. Are you kidding me? Wow. And last but not least, the pot roast. Now that is going to be an amazing dinner for everybody. It's perfectly cooked. Oh my goodness. Let's go.